All right, for RCR Wireless News, I'm Joey Jackson. Today we're talking with Steve King of 3M. Uh, you're the Applications Engineer for Wireless. Hey, Joey. And uh, Lee Garris of Sprint. You're the Program Manager. And we're talking about a case study that you guys worked on together. Can you tell me a little bit about the issue that you had and how they helped fix it? Sure. So uh, in the wireless industry now, of course, uh, data is king, and uh, that necessitates fiber. Uh, to the radios, um, up in, in many cases those radios are up on the towers. Uh, we have a variety of things that impact fiber, um, could be vandalism, could be theft, uh, could be uh, rodents or birds. Uh, in many cases uh, that fiber is uh, co-located, if you will, with, uh, with power in a hybrid cable. And so it, it's a, a purpose-built cable that's quite expensive to replace. And so um, we were looking for a means to uh, more uh, you know, cost effectively manage fiber breaks, uh, damages. And uh, so in this instance, you know, we had uh, damage uh, to a fiber uh, on a tower that was going to be very expensive to, uh, to get to and fix, a smokestack type tower. And uh, that, uh, that in conjunction with the replacement cost for the cables themselves uh, really kind of necessitated that we use a different approach. So. And Steve, this started as kind of a collaborative effort between you two before you even had this issue, or before they even had this issue. Can you tell me about that? Sure, Joey. Uh, yeah, it was sort of providence here because Lee and I were introduced, I think, December of last year, and uh, he came over to the 3M facility, and I introduced him to the uh, to the MPC no polish connector that we had for for what we call field mount or in the field fiber connectors. And what was making this relevant to the space that Lee's in is like RF techs, not, not people dedicated to fiber, but people that historically been dedicated to radios, was the advent of what we call the 3M Easy Cleaver. And so before this came along, uh, and it was launched, I think, May of last year, you had to buy, you had to sink like a thousand bucks in to get a cleaver, right? And that's, that's kind of a lot to equip somebody in something that's an experimental area. But we basically give you this with a box of connectors. And so Lee is like, you know, hey, I think that could kind of work for us. I mean, it's kind of a, a low entry fee to, to play in this area. So we were already talking about this and trying to figure out, well, where could we use these connectors? Where, where could we trial it? And then lo and behold, we get the New Jersey site. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was kind of a blessing in disguise, I guess, then, huh? And so um, how does this kind of help you know, tower technicians do their job more effectively because, you know, they, they don't have to carry big equipment up there. They just have this little, exactly. little piece here. Uh, so, so a tower crew, you know, as you indicated, I mean, when they're climbing a tower, it's, it's all a manual effort uh, gen generally, and uh, they're, they're taking what they need on their back as they go. Um, this ability gives them, uh, or this product gives them the ability to, uh, to repair uh, that fiber on top of the tower, um, there's no specialized, uh, you know, high dollar equipment required. It, it's just, you know, they pack it in their gear and they take it up. Um, the kit has been kind of designed around uh, input that we received from, you know, a, several different vendors who, who do that work for us now. And um, it, it's really turned out to be uh, pretty effective so far in the, in the few sites that we trialed it. So. And, and the collaboration between your two guys' companies is really important to development of products like this. Steve, can you tell me a little bit about how that collaboration helps bring to life these types of products? Absolutely. And, and I think it's fundamentally, it's going to kind of change the way that the industry's done. So the collaboration part, I mean, we had these products, right? But the collaboration part really started with this kit. And this is going to be introduced at CTIA next week. So this is a FTTA or fiber to the antenna. Um, fiber restoration kit. So basically the idea is that every tool that you would need for doing a fiber repair on the tower, at the base of the tower, is in this kit. But notice, everything's got lanyards on it. Mm -hmm. So if you're up in a high space and you drop this, it's not going to go far. It has an integrated work surface mm -hmm. built in. And then it has this, this rather innovative strapping mechanism. You can see some of the straps here and then some of this, some of this webbing across the back. So the idea was, how can we situate this so that if there's not a work surface on the top of the tower, sometimes there is, and that's great, but if there isn't, how can we come up with some strapping where we can strap it to a pole or a piece of unistrut or a railing? And then the guy can do his work, right? So up on the tower. And that's going to sort of change the, the way people work, I think. So we're trialing this in six markets right now. It's got everything you need, easy cleaver, the connectors, 
our uh, optical splice modules, um, alcohol wipes, just everything the tower uh, hand would need to make a repair on the site, wow. at the site. Wow. Um, and can you tell me a little bit about uh, what's going to be going on at CTIA? Absolutely. So we are, 3M's going to be at uh, booth 4446, and uh, we'll have live uh, in-person demonstrations of how, how simple it is to do this uh, no-polish connector, right? Just strip, cleave, clean a fiber, push it in, tighten up the barrel, essentially you're done. And this has been uh, realized by 3M materials technology, basically. You know, it's, it's 3M science now. Uh, you know, it's all about the materials, our manufacturing, our processes, the molding, uh, just that type of technology is allowing this to essentially replace fusion splices, which to Lee's earlier comment, you know, it's like $5,000 to do a fusion splice. Yeah, it's great, but still you have to reinforce it because it's always going to be a weak point where you heated it. This snaps on. Hmm. Once, you, once you're proficient at this, you know, it's maybe 45 seconds to repair a fiber. Hmm. And so our hope is that it could sort of change the way the industry does things. And so instead of having all pre-terminated cables, could move to just a big spool of fiber and you string it up there just the way that uh, towers were built in the 2G and 3G mm -hmm. days when they had a big roll of coax and they'd crimp in the field. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see, you know, samples of this and demonstrations at CTIA and also some of our new solutions for camouflage and concealment of infrastructure and, uh, of course, all our weatherproofing solutions. And Lee, is there anything else that you want to say about this product and how it's helped you? Well, you know, again, I want to stress the important point here that Steve mentions, which is uh, you've got a choice between a connectorized solution or an in inline splice solution. So you've, it gives you a lot of flexibility in how you might want to repair your fiber and what conditions you encounter, in, you know, when you're doing your repair. Um, you can splice on a, a pigtail and or you can reconnectorize or you can just simply fix something in line. Um, that, that level of flexibility uh, really uh, is going to help reduce costs of repair and it's going to uh, make really the, the entire repair effort a lot more efficient uh, and, 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 and quicker as well so we, you know, we can get services restored and things like that. And probably make it safer for the, the guys Absolutely. climbing the towers yeah. as well. Well, I thank you both for joining me and uh, you know, I'll see you at CTIA. Absolutely. <laughs> It'd be great. Thank you, Lee.